We live in a society where we have become conditioned to identifying ourselves with what people think about us, our circumstances, relationships, appearance, success, and social status. And when those things don't perform to our expectation, it affects our mental health. We feel unloved, insignificant, we become depressed, and develop a low self-esteem. There are more than 5.8 million social media users in India with 750 million smartphone owners which means many are on the verge of using social media without realizing its impact on mental health. According to meta-analysis, around 72% of youth are getting cyberbullied and harassed every year. Out of them, 18% are children. Another study showed 18% of girls have thought about committing suicide just because they feel they cannot maintain the idea of perfect image that social media portrays, thus leads into social isolation. You see, the small application is the reason of why there are many cases of depression, bullying and suicides. Many children and people are getting affected. There's no control over people who bully, blackmail and harass over social media. And there's hardly any control over social media addiction. So, are you with me? Come, let's go on a journey. This road will show you everything you need to know before it's too late. This road will show you stories, reality and the dark side. But at the end of the journey, you will get every information to protect you, your friends and your family. Mainly because I like to talk to people a lot, so mostly it's like okay, Instagram will be like four hours a day talking to people, but that's on and off. But mostly it's like YouTube and like WhatsApp because of stuff, and you know, you get to learn on the phone. Uh, for entertainment purpose and for updates, and all. I find it interesting, and I also get to learn new things, I gain knowledge from it. I find it interesting, and it uh, keeps me, keeps my day. social media portrays is always true because people tend to exaggerate stuff a lot on social media. Like even if the thing is a very small thing going on, people will exaggerate it in such a way that people who are reading it will believe that there is something huge going on. So yeah. Um, it's a 50-50 for me because some of my knowledge comes from like Instagram reels, right? Uh, and like some of like the useless news also does come from there. So yeah, it's a 50-50. No, sometimes it can be like false information or Depends. Depends. Some might be true, some might not be true. No, not at all. It does drain you mentally because the more you see other people's posts, the more you want to live their lives. So I feel like it does drain you mentally. Before it used to, uh, back in the day, like I used to be a lot into Instagram, like handling pages and all. And like the hate comments do get you, but over the years, you you tend to get used to them and you'll be like, yeah, these are people who are pretty sad in that situation. Yeah, it does affect me mentally. Sometimes it can give me anxiety. But then there are positives also to it. It does. It does. If, uh, if I think about it. Yes, I have faced body shaming and um, it was like 
for some time you feel ki is this body not acceptable or something but then you are like ki, who cares if your parents and your loved ones are not been uh, affected or if they are saying ki you look pretty so it's good it's fine it doesn't affect much yes i did i did experience body shaming on social media and how did it affect you uh, okay so <clears throat> uh, once so uh, me and my friends we had gone to a beach okay to do something to shoot a vlog or something so at that time i had posted a story on my instagram with me shirtless so uh, at that time it was cool but then after some time uh, one of my closest friend i don't know uh, i mean i won't take uh, the name uh, that person messaged me saying are it's you them you know it's looking like a girl with the i don't know with the i don't know the pose or the what so that really affected me and i immediately removed the story and i was really and i was really sad after that after that uh, i didn't go much of, i mean i wasn't active on social media much Yes, I did. I've experienced body shaming and uh, cyber bullying. And how did it affect you? It had an impact on my mind because uh, when it happened for the first time, I thought about it and uh, it was a bit disturbing because I never expected. We don't like expect someone to come and uh, comment bad. That was the first time, so it had a major impact on me. And that day, I was disturbed, and for the coming, it disturbed me for the coming few days, and I stopped. posting videos and body shaming yeah people call me skinny and uh, they just be like ghar pe khane nahi milta kya all of that so yeah uh, actually i faced kind of racism on social media the reason at that time in the like 5 to 7 years ago there was a song released was specifically about people of from of UP and Bihar so people are actually uh, you know seeing us as a different kind of person as a lower caste person so on social media they started a kind of a movement over there like my as a like this and, and that and all those things so in the, under that stress you know people are so racist that you know on the comments they have to literally give us bad words and all those things even not only me going to my parents accounts started over there also how did it affect you See, when it comes to me, it was okay till till a limit. I can you know handle the things, but when it goes to my parents and friends, it started affecting me. As you can see, I'm a little heavy on uh, on my body, like and I'm a little fat. So from like not only on social media, in day to day life also, people are like uh, always used to call me moti, ya fat, ya hathi ka bacha, or like that. And they used to always compare me with my sister. And this uh, and. she was very she's very hot and sexy definitely she's beautiful and uh, she uh, she is on social media she's active so this made me also feel that i should be on social media so i actually forced myself into it and i started talking to people but i am a little introvert kind of a person so for me social media doesn't work well so it was a little stressful people used to body shame me on it like you know they used to be like are ek itni moti hai kya pehen rahi hai this and that so like it of like i had insecurities due to my weight it added it like you know the it wasn't the problem so yeah it has affected me a lot but now since uh, like uh, now since i have grown up like early it was like you know jo bachche hote hain to unko like you tell anything to them they will be like ah uh, uh, must be i'm really ugly must be i'm really fat must be i'm not acceptable so this there is some uh, standards in society that we have to fit in so i always try to fit in, fit into that mold which uh, made me very stressful and uh, it made me feel disgusted about myself i started hating myself in fact it was like uh, i started comparing myself to my sister actually like it affected my bond also with her like you know it's really sad to know that people uh, like without knowing how deep that comment would go into somebody's uh, you know mind and they don't realize it. they just uh, post anything like they just comment anything on it and uh, like it is people should think like if they, they are not feeding you like they are not uh, you know um, like they they are they're nothing to your life and uh, like they have nothing to do with your life 
so like they cannot just keep commenting posting stuff that uh, can hurt somebody they don't realize that you know that there's this thing you no know, like you can throw a stone into a ocean but the people don't realize how deep that stone is going to go and which fish it's going to hurt so yeah it added to my insecurities that made me hate myself and now since i've grown up i realize that other people's perspectives don't uh, define me so yeah thank you it did i mean it did sometimes it does like when i post some photos or something some people they don't comment there publicly but then they message me on whatsapp and say ki uh, you don't look good you look like auntie you look like this you look like that but then you need to be positive you don't need to like give a damn about it okay first of all you know you see these people i mean you see the people you 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 follow them you see their story you know they are going enjoying mm, uh, wearing lux luxurious brands you know it seems like they are really happy but actually they are not so you know it's it's fake so looking at them i feel like okay even i should do this you know and i should go get this i should go out and that really never made me happy social media is fake that's that's all i have to say when it happened to me for the first time i uh, was sad and it, uh, i got more comments and then i got comments like my friend also used to comment like the video that you posted uh, what is that like you look so skinny in that and in some uh, like mazak ke saath i used to pretend to not take it seriously but deeper than it used to affect me and uh, there came a phase where i stopped making videos uh, and like i didn't enjoy making videos i went to make but i got a thought like no i don't want to make and i felt insecure um that's when i took a gap of around 2 to 3 months i didn't post anything and uh, when i set and i gave it a thought that why am i not doing what i like because of the people just come and say words to me it's it's my life and i have to do it according to my life and body and all it's i know it's a standard that is set on social media that you have to have this type of body to look like that and i i had a fear of that and it took me a few months to get out of it once i got out of it i decided and no matter what someone comes and says to me i'm not going to take it seriously it's my life it's my body and Uh, no one can stop me from doing whatever I like. To do. Cannot say about depression. I was stressed. Actually. Depression is a lot different thing from as compared to stress. I was stressed. Start because of the amount of hate you get. You know, every person see social media something public. Even every every person is watching that, reading those things. So for certain people in the class, the whole image changed for me of mine. Sometimes it does feel like that. That's why I try to like uh, when you feel like you're avoided or something, you purposely put some stories, you know, of uh, you should accept this kind of body, you should accept that. That is what I try to do and tell people that no, it is even curvy bodies are acceptable. Yes, yes, I did try because okay, before I had another account, okay, and on Instagram, so that uh, I had posted many pictures of mine, and then. I don't know. I was, uh, I mean, I deleted two of the pictures to do some reasons. I don't know. Then my a friend of my friends, okay, I mean my friend, okay, he told me saying, "Arey, what are you doing? Arey, everybody is saying you deleted the pictures. You're putting up, uh, you're uploading and then deleting again. What the hell is wrong with you?" So that really affected me, and I tried to fit in. I never deleted. You know what I mean? I tried to fit in in that way, and I don't know. That just just made me. Lose my mind. Initially, I tried to fit in, and uh, it. I realized it didn't make me happy. I was just trying to do it for people, and then I realized that no, why am I trying to fit in? I stopped, and uh, then I took a break, and then I started fresh, only for myself. Somewhere, yes, because right now, if you see, there's a wave of 
content creator on the social media. So looking at that wave, you know, there's something all you are missing out. I was thinking, why can't I start? I should, you know, just for them, I fitted myself in such a way that I forgot who I was. Social media is addictive and it affects people. A study from Nottingham Trent University found that people using social media a lot showed traits as neglect of personal life, mental preoccupation, mood modifying, etc. A well-known psychology professor at Swansea University, Phil Reid, said, We have known for some time that people who are using social media reported feelings of anxiety but they are stopped from using them. The addiction is bad but the company wants you to be addicted to it. The algorithm is designed in such a way that you get addicted to it. It makes you social isolated. In fact, another study found that social media use is linked to greater feelings of social isolation. The team looked at how much people used level social media sites, including Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, Vine, Snapchat, and Reddit, and correlated this with their perceived social isolation. Not surprisingly, it turned out that more time people spend on these sites, the more socially isolated they perceive themselves to be. And perceived social isolation is one of the worst things for us, mentally and physically. Comparing a life with other is mentally unhealthy. Facebook makes people feel socially isolated, even though they may not actually be. Is the comparison factor? We fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others as we scroll through our feed and make judgments about how we measure up. One study looked at how we make comparison to others post in upward or downward direction, that is feeling that we are either better or worse off than the other friend. It turned out that both type of comparison made people feel worse, which is surprising, since in real life only upward comparison makes people feel bad. But in social networking world, it seems that any kind of comparison is linked to depressive symptoms. Alright, let me tell something out of this social media algorithm. Forget about how these sites affect people. Think about how the people on this site affect. There is no control over cyberbullying, blackmailing, stalking, etc. There are people who stalk girls online and gather every information. There are a group of people who bully children on their messages and comments. These cases are rising day by day and has affected millions. So, what can we do? First of all, keep your private life away from social media because there are people who can misuse it. Secondly, you have the power of ignoring the bullies. Block them, turn off the comments and look at the positive side of the life. Third, practice social media detox. It is a challenge where you install all these apps. Only use the one which is required for your work, like WhatsApp. But that too when it is needed. And for the next 31 days, don't use social media. Are you still with me? We have reached to the end of the journey. And as I promised in the beginning, you have all the information you will need. From here, you have to help the people, share this information to them, help them, until we'll see you in the next journey.